چیئرمین Ladies and gentlemen, the subject under discussion is really a very, very profound subject. Actually, it's a big challenge to the whole society and all of us who are sitting here. The subject says, what are the social crimes, their causes and solution? First of all, let me say that uh, God Almighty has created all of us <coughs> in this universe with total freedom. And the choice has been given to all the people to follow any religion they like and remain a part of that as long as they are pleased. They are also have given the choice of making decisions for them. They can choose the way of life they want to follow. But it must be having some regard with, for other people. If this consideration for other people is there, then you can just imagine that nobody would be violating any rule of the country, any law of the society, and there will be no crime at all if this consideration is there. But still, as we see so many crimes there, I was thinking, what are the possible reasons? Some of the people may be indulging in some crimes because of simply ignorance, or maybe they forget certain things, or maybe more importantly, in order to gain some benefit out of violating the law of the country, our law of the society. And moreover, maybe that because particularly the youth, they are very much influenced with the idea of our freedom. They say once we cross a certain limit in our age, then we are free to do whatever we like. And there is nothing which can stop us from do, behaving in the way we, we do. So this uh, misunderstanding regarding the total freedom is also something which becomes the cause of these social crimes. Then because of jealousy, because of a racial misunderstanding, I should say, or this uh, sense of superiority which people sometimes feel regarding other people, or in some people, maybe the inferiority complex may also be prompting those people to cross the boundaries of the rules and the laws of the society. And maybe because of the power, and the right to do certain things, that can also mislead certain people to disregard the rules of the society. And maybe some people, because of their temperament or their mental attitude, they may also be committing certain crimes. But I think one very important reason is if they do not consider what is good for other people. If they always become self-centered personalities, then they always consider about themselves and much less thinking about the comfort and the pleasure and the happiness of the people around them. If the simple principle is followed by people that whatever I am going to say to anybody else or whatever I am going to do to somebody else, if the same thing is said to me or if the same thing is done to me, would I be happy? If the answer is no, then certainly having regard for the sentiments of other people, people should abstain from that. It is futile on the part of anyone if they try to educate their grown-up children while not teaching any of them any value of the decency when the children are very small. Islam has told us that the first school for the education of a child is the home of that child. The mother and the father, they are the very first teachers appointed by God Almighty to look after the proper training and the upbringing of the children. So if the job is done at that early level, Islam says, then the children will be shaped as a useful member of the society to come. Otherwise, if the children, parents do not pay attention to this responsibility, when the children are young, when they are attached to the, mother, to the parents, they are willing to listen. If the parents do not teach them anything at that level, when their ears are, they are all ears, they are attentive, they are receptive, they are in a very good position to understand what the message is being given to them. Then later on what happens? And I can say on my personal experience, 
Many examples are such where the children grow up and then they don't want to listen to their parents. The children, the parents want to talk to them, but they are not willing to listen. They say, we are now grown up, we are independent, we are responsible. So there are, who are you to teach us about the manners and the etiquettes now? So the parents should see to it that this work starts in the very beginning. And the looking after of the children and also particularly the youth. Islam says if the children are taken care of at the age of the childhood, then this training will continue with them throughout the youth. And as that slogan on my left hand side says, a nation cannot be reformed without the reformation of the youth. It's a beautiful slogan said by the second successor of the founder of the community. And it speaks volumes that if you only reform the youth of the society, you can be very sure that the whole nation is reformed. And that is how the social crimes can also be eliminated. So there should be talking about the good morals, the good qualities, the good behaviors, the regard for other people, the sentiments for the, uh, 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 talk, uh, talking about the sentiments of other people. If these things are taught to the children and to the youth at the proper way, with a good example of the parents, then you can expect that they are going to become a very useful, contributing member of the society. You will not at all be worried about the crimes they are going to commit. Rather, they will be always very keen to make a positive contribution for the development of the society. Now, another point which I would like to say is that the media also plays a very important role in shaping the society. There is no such society in the whole world which is without crimes. But if those crimes are played up in the media, and they are always highlighted, and that makes the big news if certain crime is committed there, I would say that instead of that, if the action taken by the representative authorities is highlighted more than the crime, perhaps that will be a good deterrent for other people who might be thinking of doing the same crime in future. This concept of morality is something which is unfortunately lacking in those societies where social crimes are rampant. And in order to overcome this situation, I personally feel in the light of Islamic teachings that the values of human values, they should be taught more in schools and colleges, through the media as well, through the parents as well, at every level, if we go on talking about the high moral standards, the good behaviors, the regard for other people, respect for elders. For example, just take the simple example of respect which I have just mentioned. If this seed of respecting other people is sown into the heart of the children in society, then this will sprout out in their heart and it will become a big tree. And when those people will be moving around in society, they will be showing respect to their neighbors, to their parents, to their elders, to their teachers, to the doctors, to the officials, anybody in society who is around them, they will always be dealing those people with respect and dignity and honor. So these values are very important. I really wonder, we so many times hear television programs, but can you remember how many times have you listened to any lecture about human values, morals, good character, nobility, piety, chastity? Have you heard about these things? These are the topics which are unfortunately totally ignored. And the result of that is that when this positive message of morality is not being conveyed to the people, the result is what we see, unfortunately, so many social crimes. I would like to submit this thought with all, all of you, that let us rise together, let us work together, let us join hand in having this firm conviction in the hearts of all of us that there is a creator to whom we have to go back. And then we should instill the same uh, this conviction in the hearts of each and every member of the society around.